I'm the uh, Detachment Commander, Site Supervisor at Royal Roads University. We have a 560-acre campus and uh, I'm responsible for all aspects of security on that campus, indoors, outdoors. A huge number of our students uh, come from other than Canada and the one place they all know is the security office and they'll come there and ask us all kinds of questions uh, from where to get uh, good food to uh, how do I get my passport renewed, where's this embassy, um, how do I find my class, uh, where do I buy books, we're the concierge for the, uh, for the university, so we're all times of day and night. We have people at the desk asking us questions, so I train my guys to uh, never, uh, never say no, uh, always uh, I can find that out for you if you don't know the answer off the top of your head, but very much customer service oriented. My dad was in the uh, Air Force, my grandfather before him, he'd been a pilot in the First World War, um, so there was a lot of family background. And uh, the thing that really clinched it for me was watching the moon landing and uh, seeing the, uh, the military aviation in the background. I was kind of more interested in that than the, uh, the actual rocket stuff. So that was kind of what got me hooked on uh, flying fast jets. When I retired from the military uh, about 10 years before I joined the Commissioners, I, uh, my wife and I made a conscious decision to uh, kind of get out of the rat race. We moved to uh, Whistler and spent 10 years in Whistler and just concentrated on raising our kids and having a good family life. So one of the things I didn't want to do was fly for a living because you're away from home all the time. So uh, we ran our own little business up there and uh, I also worked in the hotel industry for a while because you're in Whistler, you're either ski instructor or you're working in a hotel or restaurant. There's not a lot of variety up there. So I'd been away from flying for 10 years and then uh, my wife got a new position in Victoria uh, that was uh, something we couldn't couldn't miss. It was a really good uh, position, so we moved over here. I needed a job and uh, looked at what was available and uh, really didn't know much about the commissioners other than they were the old guys checking ID cards when you drove into the restricted area on the base <laughs> and uh, saw this and, hey, that sounds like an interesting job and reading the description that was on the uh, Help Wanted ads and then realizing, oh, this is commissioners, so hmm, interesting. Something I never thought I'd do, and uh, came in, interviewed, got offered the position, and I've had a lot of fun. I've been doing it for almost two years now, and really enjoyed it. My impression changed a lot. I had no idea the variety of uh, security work that the commissioners do. I had no idea the variety of ages that were uh, involved in it, and uh, yeah, it was quite an eye-opener. Ten years in Whistler, I ran across maybe a half a dozen military guys and the whole time I was up there, you know, it's, you're quite isolated from it. Coming back here, joining the commissioners, it's, uh, even though most of my guys are, uh, are Navy, it's still a lot of fun to be able to speak military again. And in fact, one of the things that really uh, surprised me when I got to my new position, uh, one of the uh, guys that uh, was under me, one of the uh, guards on my detachment, was one of my former F-18 instructors. <laughs> so it was, I was thinking I'd be the only Hornet pilot uh, in the commissioners, and yeah, there it is, one of my underlings used to be one of my superiors flying the Hornet.